All right, for a lot of people, Martin Luther King Jr. Day today is an annual reminder about our country's history. We recognize there was a civil rights movement decades ago, and we get a day off work or school to celebrate. But as you know, it's not supposed to stop there. In fact, MLK Day is the only federal holiday designated as a national day of service, meaning just because you are off the clock, not at work, not at school, doesn't mean you don't have responsibilities today. On a national day of service, you're encouraged to make your community a better place. Hundreds answered that call in downtown Boise today. A Boise State MLK Living Legacy student group, they led a march from campus all the way to the Capitol steps like they usually do, but it's back this year after a break from COVID. Andrew Bartline followed along. Too many. The message stands tall. Too many. Proudly front and center. Too many. But the support to get here, Peace. that's the faces in the crowd. You know, just being kind and, and human and equal. It's personal so, to yeah. Jessica Lynn. Now, I have a daughter who's African American and I want to support, you know, the message of Martin Luther King and um, just make change in the world. It's time. It's been time for a long time. Jessica is stepping into her first march because while she's always believed in the message of equality, she wanted to take this step forward with her kids. We just moved up here from Los Angeles and my kids were too little to do it in LA. But old enough in Idaho to face a harsh reality. I will say my daughter's had probably more racial slurs thrown at her here than she ever did in LA. Does that surprise you? No, it doesn't surprise me, but it sure saddens me. Tim Teeter's part of the old generation. An avid activist since Vietnam, he says society is still making sense of a hangover from work done decades ago. I grew up in the segregated South, and so I can tell you that things are better that way. But unfortunately, it seems like things are starting to take the opposite trajectory, and things are starting to get worse in this country. Really important, but I think you need to speak to those that it matters to. Including Boise State MLK Living Legacy Chair, Charles Jones III. What we need to learn is to not do things that are easy. We need to do things that are right. And sometimes things that are right are hard. Charles sees progress as a stream of water, perhaps a trickle in the 50s and 60s. He sees it as a river today. But someday, Charles prays for an ocean. That we stop and take days like today to remember the sacrifice of all those who came before, the activism, who bled, sweat, who back in those days didn't wouldn't have as much support where cops would be here against and not in support if that means exposing your own history exposing yes my ancestors were such and such for slavery my ancestor like supported the kkk call it out because once we lay it all on the table we can say you did it it was then what do we move forward you encourage it by wanting to hide it those open, crucial conversations are happening here today on the front steps. You see those kids that carry those signs. Charles Taylor says. They have all colors. That would never have happened. Of all generations. In the 1960s. Of all nationalities. That is a difference between the mindset of people nowadays and the people of those days. This is what democracy looks like. It's an acknowledgement that work has been done. Now. But in the same breath, an acknowledgement that the work isn't done either. The March in or is organized annually by the MLK Living Legacy Committee at BSU, and they hosted several speakers on those Capitol steps, including Charles, the legacy chair, who you heard from. And when you talk with these people, Brian, I mean, you hear a lot of personal anecdotes, personal stories about why people are out there, and I think that makes it a lot more tangible and a lot more real for someone who otherwise doesn't experience that and might not understand it on a personal level. Absolutely. Thanks for getting out there and doing that, Andrew. All right.